You know, Thank let's you. go straight to our next Thank guest, you. David Barnson. David is a market watcher. That's why he's on the show. But today I want to talk to you about the president's speech last night because he wants us to wait till July the 4th to entertain in small groups. That's a long way away. I, I don't like the sound of that. Do you? Uh, no, and I don't really understand it for the life of me, scientifically or politically. I think he had a chance last night to basically come out and say what everyone is already doing and where everyone is already headed, which is you can have some normalcy in your life back. And it wasn't just that he said you can do a cookout on 4th of July, which, as you point out, is four months too long, too late. He said, but not in large groups, even then. After herd immunity, after successful vaccination, it's like these guys don't even want a victory from the own, the things that have happened from all of our collective efforts. Uh, but really, Stuart, the point I want to make to, to listeners this morning is that the entirety of this independence and liberty and normalization at this point is out of the hands of policymakers. It's out of the hands of the president. It's up to us. We will go back to our offices. We will go back to our churches. We will start dining in restaurants. That's what this has always been about. The politicians have capitulated when the people have said enough is enough. The science and health and safety is overwhelmingly on our side. It's time to go back to work and actually cherish this thing called normalcy, community, the energy that gives us meaning in our lives. Stop asking for our freedoms to be restored. Take back our freedoms and do it before our Independence Day. That's my bottom line, and I think it's yours too. David, thanks, thanks. very much for joining us this morning. Very important day. Thanks, Appreciate it, Mr. Barnson.